Now we want to talk about what this race means for Georgia and, of course, the nation. The Peach State is pivotal as both parties fight for majority in the Senate. Over 60 minutes, Herschel Walker and incumbent Raphael Warnock debated on a slew of topics, including the economy, health care access, abortion, and election integrity. But right before the debate started, the live audience and the moderators caught a glimpse of Warnock and Walker embracing each other on stage. On more than one occasion, Herschel Walker referenced Raphael Warnock voted with Joe Biden 96% of the time. He just mentioned he's standing for the people of Georgia. But can you tell me why he voted with Joe Biden 96% of the time if he was standing for Georgia? My opponent would rather be running against anybody except me. This race is about who's ready to represent the people of Georgia, and I'm thinking about them every single day. On more than one occasion, however, when Raphael Warnock was asked if he would vote for President Biden for a second term, he simply did not comment. I've not spent a minute thinking about what politicians should run for what in 2024. Is that a yes I, or no? I, the answer is I have not. That President Trump is my friend, and he won't stand up with Biden when yet he's voted with him 96 percent of the time. Let's be real. Another intense moment during the debate was when the moderator reminded Herschel Walker that he should not pull out props when he removed a badge during the topic of public safety. You are very well yes. aware of the rules tonight. Yes. And you have a prop. Yes. That is not allowed, sir. Both candidates agreed that no matter the outcome, they will accept the results for the November midterms. However, there is an important element that if a candidate does not get more than one more than 50% of the votes, the Senate race could run to a runoff December 6th. Reporting in Savannah, Archit Sashadri, Atlanta Bureau Chief.